Hey gang, I have uh, just completed retrofitting one of my previous player bases to the new uh, electric lighting system. Uh, nighttime right now, so you can see my solar panels are inactive, but we're running off of some battery power right there. Uh, first thing you might notice is that I don't have a big ugly wire running from my power to my base. Uh, notice here, this wire going off underground. All right. Running that to the base, can show you all of the uh, various lights and things that I have active. There's front lighting right here, nice and clean, no messy wiring. Uh, up there, the lighting on the portal itself, you can see also no messy wiring leading up to those. Um, walking here into my bar now, interior lights all working well lighting up there as well everything in here is powered up with with no messy lighting there as well there's my trade terminal everything powered up there okay. uh, heading into the portal chamber you can see I've got a lot of lighting in here Everything looks good. Little wire between these guys right here, but nice and clean. I can show you the lighting that I've got attached to the portal. All right, we've got the wiring pulling down, clipping through the portal. That's because way down below, underneath the portal, I have a, uh, a an area set up as a, a junction for all these wires to meet. So they're clipping through the portal down below uh, so that uh, it's not to, uh, you know, be ugly on the surface. I mean, really the appearance of this base from before it had this wired lighting hasn't changed that much. And I'll show you the outside too to show you where those wires go here in a moment. Um, moving on, here's my terminus portal set to a proximity switch. Uh, under under the floor plating here um, That'll save a little power on the batteries when I'm not using it uh, So let's take a little look outside and You can see where some of these wires are, are going oh, This is my portal chamber. The only thing I haven't got working yet is these storage units, but that's because they're glitchy. Uh, I have to t tear them out and rebuild them, I think. Uh, but moving on. Yeah, I still have yet to fix this door. I think that it ought to work properly if I just delete it and replace it. So again, looking up above, no messy wiring coming down off that portal. Here is one of the exposed exterior wires. This is feeding the light on this wall, those three lights that you saw inside. So just one wire coming out straight down, running under the edge of the building, right? And straight down to the ground. There's a couple little places where that's happening elsewhere as well. Let's see. That, that wire there, that's not supposed to be there. I can delete that. That's just a little extra spare piece of wire. Okay, so you can see under here, I've got a few places where the wiring is coming down, running under the edge of the building, and then again, straight down to the ground. So let's take a look at where all these wires go. Headed back into the lounge. We're going to pick up this floorboard right here. Now this base was already fully built before uh, the Beyond update. In fact, I can't build this base now because you can't clip objects into the portals like you, you could previously. So, so this base, I couldn't build this base now. Um, but going under the floorboard, 
you can see all of the items in this room are coming down to a uh, single junction under the floorboard. A wire from that single junction is leading deeper down to another junction. This junction is feeding all of the lights and devices in the main portal chamber. Now for the lighting on the portal itself, uh, I needed to put it centrally located underneath the portal. So that involved doing a little excavation and uh, I discovered this cavern under here. And I ought to known it was there because long ago I tried to build some, some bases underneath my, or uh, some base rooms underneath my portal. And, uh, you know, back then the terrain generation would refill all the time. And I also discovered these artifacts underneath the portal that, you know, mess with, you know, you can't delete this stalactite-like thing. Okay. Uh, anyway, following along, centrally located underneath the portal, we have this junction here. This is running all the portal lights and it needed to be underneath the portal because I wanted to pull those wires in and have them clip through the portal so that they weren't visible from the outside. And one wire leading off of that, going back and hooking up with the previously uh, shown junction points. In a way, it's a lot like wiring a, uh, a house in real life. You just uh, put most of that stuff underground and just bring it up to the surface when you need it. But what about these lights? Up here on the ceiling in the bar. I've got a few of them. I've got that, that bad boy right there. I've got uh, that guy right there, a couple of lights up here. Where are the wires do those go? I bet, this, I bet the outside of my building looks terrible, right? Let's go take a look. Let's see. Put that floorboard back. Okay, now we're going to pop up onto the roof. So you see this thin layer I have up top. That wasn't originally part of the building. I wanted to give myself a little more space to hide some wiring. So I put the, uh, I built up a little kind of crawl space area. I'm gonna take the panel off here. You can see where that comes into play. So wiring coming up from the lighting in the bar, uh, junctioning here and connecting back into the main power grid over here where it's tying into the uh, the the power that runs the, the lights in the portal chamber and nice and clean nobody has to look at it And you, you know, this is just lights, but you can do other stuff too. I'll show you a proximity switch over here at my, uh, at my terminus portal. There's a proximity switch underneath the ground, nice and out of sight. You never have to look at that stuff. There we have it. Just a little thing to show you all that, that wiring doesn't need to be messy. Uh, if you've ever experienced hiding your redstone in Minecraft, it's really the same concept. Um, just a little bit of practice, you can get good. And eventually you don't have to look at, at that white lighting really at all. Anyway, 
thank you for watching. I, I hope this has been helpful to some people, maybe inspired you to uh, hide your lighting, uh, hide your wiring a little better. Oh, I ran out of power. I still need to be build a generator over there. Not, it's not generating enough power for my base to get completely through the day. But aside from that, everything works great. And the wiring, it doesn't really look very much different than it did before I, uh, before the Beyond update, when this was all running on lighting that didn't need to be powered. And there you have it. Anyway, thank you for watching my YouTube video. Hope it's been helpful. And I will see you all in the galaxy.